Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is John with Smart Home Mojo. And in this video today, we're gonna to be kicking off a series of short five minute videos, each one covering a different feature of the Nest Learning Thermostat. Now, before we go any further, take a quick second and subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Also, please leave a comment on this or any one of our videos. We try to respond to all comments in a very timely fashion. All right, so let's jump right into it. We only have five minutes. In this video, we're gonna be covering compatibility. How do you know, right, if your existing home or dwelling is compatible with a Nest Learning Thermostat? So the good news is about 95% of all homes run off of 24 volt heating and cooling systems, so low voltage wires. And we'll give you a close up of these wires in a minute here. But what you're looking for when you take it off the wall is small wiring wrapped in a brown covering here. And we'll show you this in a minute, as opposed to high voltage wires that looks like kind of this with, with these red or colored wire nuts. Okay, so let's look at some of that wiring up close and give you a good clean picture of what you're looking for and what you wanna see. So when you take your old thermostat off the wall, the examples I have right here are of 24 volt low voltage wires. And usually they'll come in this brown, it'll have this brown wrapper around it. And they could come in a number of different configurations here. So you see here, I've got a three, a five, and also an eight configuration. There are also some other configurations. This is just three examples. But what you wanna see is this wiring come out of the wall in these colors. And so what you don't wanna see is high voltage wiring. So this is a high voltage wire with a wire nut, that red nut on the end here, that's a wire nut. And what you don't wanna see are thick, you know, white and black wires like this, which you would traditionally see in like a light switch or a fan. Now let's take another quick uh, look at something else. So some older thermostats, here's one I took off my wall a while ago, um, have jumpers. And so here's a picture of a jumper right here. This is a, a jumper wire between the RH and RC wires um, here. And then, so the Nest thermostat does not require a jumper cable. So when you take this off the wall, if you see a jumper cable, that real red cable there, don't freak out. The Nest thermostat doesn't need one. And when you're hooking up the wire in the Nest thermostat, you'll just put it in either the RH or RC slot and you'll be fine without a jumper. So I just wanted to cover that as well. Okay, now that we looked at the wires real quickly, let's talk about some of the other things that, some other compatibility features. So the Nest Learning Thermostat will run on most common types of fuel, including natural gas, oil, and electric, as long as they run off of those low voltage, 24 volt heating and heating systems. So some things that aren't compatible and what to look for is that if you're running electric baseboard heating, which is typically run off high voltage wires, or millivolt heaters like small wall or floor heaters, um, or even solid fuel systems like wood chips, pellet stoves, or coal. Obviously, the Nest Learning Thermostat won't work with those. But it, as long as you're running 24 volt heating system off of the wires we showed you, the Nest Learning Thermostat will work off of those common fuel types we discussed, natural gas, oil, and electric. So there's a pretty good chance that the Nest Learning Thermostat will work in your home or where you live. Now, we do have a couple of questions here at the end we do want to answer. We've gotten these three common questions around compatibility or setup that we just wanted to answer here at the end of this video. One question we get a lot is, does the Nest Learning Thermostat require a hub, right? There are some smart home products out there that do require a hub to help control around the house. And the answer is no, there's no hub required for the Nest Learning Thermostat. Once you have the Nest Learning Thermostat installed on the wall, it's just connecting to your wireless network, or you can just go up and control the Nest Learning Thermostat right on the wall, no hub required. The other question we get sometimes is, is there a monthly fee associated with supporting or maintaining the Nest Learning Thermostat? And the answer is no, there's no, there's no monthly fee you need to pay to Nest or to Google on using the Nest Learning Thermostat in your house. So no monthly fee. And the last question we get quite often is, is a wireless connection needed to run the Nest Learning Thermostat? And the answer on that one is no as well. So if your wireless network is down or it goes out, or if you don't have a wireless network, you can still install the Nest Learning Thermostat. You just can't control it wirelessly through an app. You just have to go up to the wall like you would any other normal thermostat and program, change the heating, do whatever you want on directly on the Nest Learning Thermostat. Now, if you had a wireless connection, you could control the Nest Learning Thermostat through the app on a smartphone, a tablet, or any other device uh, that's running the Nest application. 
So that's a wrap on the video, guys. We hope you got some good answers today on the compatibility around the Nest Learning thermostat and some other answers as well on setup. So as always, please subscribe to the video right now, hit that bell icon, and please leave a comment if you have any questions on what we covered today, and we'll try to answer them in a very timely fashion. Thanks again, guys, for watching. This is John with Smart Home Mojo. See you on the next video.